Hi guys, welcome back to the news, my country people. I think religion is our problem and that is what is holding Nigerians from moving forward. Religion is holding Nigerians backward. Let's not deceive ourselves. And here we have the Muslim right concern, MURIC, which is an Islamic organization. They have accused President Bola Admetinibo of using and dumping the Muslim community, which helped him win the presidential election last year. In an interview, the executive director of the organization, Professor Ishak Akintola, who is a retired professor of Islamic ethology, expressed the concerns of the Muslim community, particularly in the southwest, and accused President Bolad Metinivo of deceiving them. Regarded as the spokesperson, and you know he's an outspoken and a very controversial man, as seen by many, the Islamic leader who also raised concerns about the rising cases of sexual immorality in the society, particularly the silent acceptance of the LGBTQ among the people, particularly the Muslim community. Now, speaking on the recent conference by the Supreme Council for Syria in Nigeria, at this point, he mentioned that President Bolad Metinibu used the Muslims and he dumped them. So what he's trying to say is that the Muslims voted Tinibu into power, but the Christians are the ones benefiting, benefiting from this, uh, you know, this, this uh, achievement. According to him, they voted President Tinibu into power. Undoubtedly, President Bernard Metinibu is facing serious challenges economically, politically, and otherwise. But the country, the economy he inherited was bad already. But at this point, it seems that the value of our country is depreciating on a daily basis and it is really biting hard on everybody. Even the cost of living has gone beyond the reach of an average Nigerian. And Nigerians are really facing serious challenges and it is turning on everybody. And at this point, they've said that they are really disappointed. They are really disappointed at the Muslim community. Because if not for the Muslim Muslim ticket, there would be no Tinibu, there would be no Shetima. And it seems that the, the president has really taken advantage of that. Now, he promised a lot of things for the Muslim community. I mean, in the last election, they were happy that yes, the Muslim community were, be, were able to, uh, to produce a Muslim president and also a Muslim uh, vice president, which is the Muslim Muslim ticket. But at this point, they are quite disappointed with the way things are going because they've described the uh, government of, of Tinubu administration as a Christian Christian government. And they are completely dissatisfied with what they are seeing because it seems Christians are benefiting more from the government so my country people, what are your thoughts on this? As we've known, the MURIC have strongly disagreed with the president in the area of political appointments. In the area of political appointments to them, the president is telling them that the Muslims are not competent, they are not experienced, they don't have capacity to be given appointments. So as it stands now, Professor Isaac Akintola have said, they are very disappointed in President Bola Admetinibu. The Muslim community had expected more from the president, but he disappointed them. The president ought to have reached out for the Muslim communities, but he's looking out for skilled and talented Christians, which he's working with. So how about the talented Muslims who voted him into power? If not from the Muslims, the Tinibu wouldn't have been in power. So why is he only training and empowering only the Christians? The president is simply not searching enough among the Muslim communities and he really needs to do something about this. So my country people, this is quite interesting and also, you know, shocking at a point that the Murik that once supported the president are now, you know, pointing fingers of accusation, also disappointed in the path that he has taken. Now this is not a new development. I must say, it is not a new development that most supporters of uh, Tinibu are now crying and regretting the support they showed to this current administration before this government came into power. So, my country people, I am quite, you know, 
taken aback by this statement that at this point he has decided to play a religious card in this in this statement noting how christians are benefiting from what's happening in in the country and benefiting from tinibu's administration how what is really going on how now look at the insecurity that is ravaging nigeria people that are being killed on a daily basis including muslims and christians so what is it what point is it trying to make people that were killed in southern kaduna people that were killed in plateau states were they not christians Muslims also included. Now I wonder how some people tend to play religious cards. And that is what, in fact, that is one of the problems of Nigeria. Religion. And here we have it. Most, of, most, most times we don't see people talking about the, the challenges Nigerians are facing. And how to solve the challenges we are facing. The, the insecurity, the economic hardship and so on. It is really, really... You know, um, it is really, really sad to see how people are complaining about Christians and what Tinibu administration has not done for the Muslims while people are being killed every day. The country is, is, is a mess. And here we are talking about the Muslim Muslim tickets and what they have to benefit. <laughs> so my country people, this is quite, you know, interesting. So guys... Nigerians have reacted. Now, Akintola should pack all his belongings and move to the north, where he's like being a professor. Doesn't have to say anything about this. Now, this country cannot work with this type of mentality and orientation from this so-called professor. Aki, Ishak Akintola, a religious man indeed, and yet another Boko Haram in disguise. You are crying foul now because the Muslims are not given position in President Tinubu's government. So what about when we get to heaven in kingdoms in God's kingdom, where no single Muslims or Islamic scholar like you will be found in the kingdom of God? Okay. Um, the next person said, you keep complaining about the Christians. Why would you not stop complaining? Please, Professor, what would Muslims donating this administration, how will it solve the problems we are facing? Please, can we ignore this man? You talk too much, but then what can we say? You, Akintola, voted PDP Nigeria, and now we voted APC. So we don't understand this professor at all. Okay, guys, um, these are reactions from Nigerians. So, my country people, what are your thoughts on this? Now, you can imagine Professor Isaac Akintola making this kind of statement. Meanwhile, the dollar rise, the hike, you know, in the price of goods and commodities, the devaluation of the Naira, who is it affecting? Nigerians, including Muslims and Christians. The suffering includes everybody in this country, even the rich are crying. So we need to prefer more solutions to the problems we are facing in this country rather than pointing things that doesn't really matter. So this is seen as a misplaced priority when there are so many issues on ground to really concentrate on. Guys, I'm dropping here. Kindly share your thoughts on this in the comment section. Thank you.